a long time ago, I did a, a Roblox Survivor game. And uh, the Roblox Survivor game didn't quite go as planned. It went off the rails a bit. But it did open my eyes as to the wide world of stuff that's on Roblox, which is a lot. Roblox is a crazy world full of a lot of really neat games, honestly. And so a video got suggested called The Insane World of Roblox Games here. And I was like, ooh, I want to see that. Unfortunately, he changed the video to The Manipulative Design of Roblox, which I don't think is as good of a title, but I do want to see some funny Roblox games. So let's find out here. The following statement is very real. Life. Roblox. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know he played like that. Life. There's Roblox. <laughs> I don't know like how long you have to have been on the internet to see this clip and to not hear Roblox, right? It's kind of unbelievable that you would think that. You wouldn't hear Roblox and go on with your day. You're like, actually, you know what that sounds like, and then you kind of make, make the meme. That's kind of impressive. Chances are you've heard them respond that their kids are always playing Roblox. Just Robloxing it up. Doing whatever it is they do on that game. It's probably different for me because I know, like, the world of gaming. But if I was a parent uh, who didn't know video games, I would... This Roblox shit would be uh, imperceivable. This would make no sense to me what they're doing. Like, it barely makes sense to me now because it's so wide and vast and there's so much shit. It, it doesn't really work for me now. But, like, if I didn't know computers, it'd be so much harder. I feel like past of a certain age, no one has any idea what Roblox is. Dude, I'm past that age. I have no fucking clue what happens on this site. I thought it was, like, this world-building game kind of platform, but nobody uses it. There's no way to tell if people are on it. And that's how I felt about Roblox. It was like... People don't actually use this, but they do a lot. I don't think I could properly explain to Acid my, parents rain, the stay indoors. Of my friend accidentally walking through a sponsored portal to the H and M dimension. <laughs> I tried. What? Wait, that could just appear. It says "ad" in the bottom right. Those could just appear. You could accidentally get advertised to. While Roblox can <laughs> often feel removed from the rest of the gaming world due to its younger demographic, it's an absolutely monumental force of over yeah. 60 million daily users, but that number puts it on what? par with the entirety of Steam. Wait, 60 million a day? That's bigger than Steam. Oh my god, and that's with Street Fighter 6. Wow, this is a new video. Seven days ago. Ooh, I gotta get on Roblox. That's what I'm saying. Unironically, I think Roblox is very funny. I would love a Roblox stream. I just gotta find the games for it. I want to talk about the actual games on Roblox. Oh my god. What it's like to play the various experiences on this bizarre platform. Yeah, please. And share some personal thoughts on how I think a lot of them are, um, not good. But first, I want to cover some of the things that actually impressed me about Roblox. Oh, it's Hades. Now, thanks to a standalone creation engine and the combined efforts of small studios and oh my dev god. teams, the games can look like this. That's Call of Duty. What the I fuck? I swear this isn't Call of Duty. What? It Roblox. is Call of Duty. No, that's Call of Duty. That's not Roblox. Where's the Roblox? Top left corner? He could have added that himself. Dude, unironically, if my kid was making Roblox games, I would be very proud. That sounds like a really good hobby to have. At least at a at least at a at a surface level. I don't know what the fuck, but like if it, it feels like that's a really neat way to like explore a passion, learning useful skills. Yeah, exactly. That sounds like the Roblox engine itself is is a, is a modern miracle. It seems really cool. I I don't know about Roblox like exploiting it, which apparently is an issue, but I'm not informed enough on that. There's also a run-based horror game called Doors, where you and up to 3 friends try to make it through 100 randomly generated rooms filled with mazes and puzzles while being chased by monsters. Doors, Doors? is pretty impressive in its current state and is easily the best game I tried. For, so you just run through 100 doors? Doors is big? I've never heard of that. With detailed visuals, immersive sound <laughs> design and original Holding music the tracks, I almost forget I'm playing Roblox until I turn around and see one of my friends with bacon. Oh, doors is hair. fantastic. Nice. Really? Play Doors on stream? I might. Roblox looks no funny. Reason. Dude, the ambiance is top notch here. Right, I'm There's going to the left, one to the right. I'm in one. Why are right, you hiding? Get out, get is out. anything chasing? Get out of the closet? Get back in, get back in. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I heard a- oh. Ah! Oh my god! 
weapon. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? It came out of the ground? Where did that even come from? Nobody else even saw it? Ah! Oh my fuck! Just guy well, comes out and I bites you and you're, you're nobody believes you that that happened. Everybody else is like, what the biting guy? Teeth? Shut up. It's got cutscenes? <laughs> I'm ready to run, motherfucker. What the fuck? He's so fast. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, Doris is cool. And to top it all off with the oh, here, this is it. Yep, Roblox, this is it. Raise a Peter. Yep, I would love to play Raise a Peter if there wasn't already a donkey video. Like, cause now everybody knows all the gimmicks and shit. You know, this shit is very funny. Guy themed idol game with gardening, weather cycles, fishing, side quests. There's an old donkey video. Not even old, but and yeah. Nine unique endings. That Lois <laughs> 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 so and microwave nice burgers. <laughs> oh yeah, the microwave is very loud too. Yeah, this game is like long too. Me and my friend played this for hours and haven't gotten all the endings. I'm a huge fan of user-generated levels in games like Mario Maker and Little Big Planet, so in theory, Roblox must be a great collaboratively driven social and creative environment. Yeah. But money is also involved. That is weird. The fact that m you can g use real money and pay real money. Like, if this didn't have real money, I feel like it would be so much better, but like, would people actually do anything on it? I feel like the real money part is kind of the incentive for people to make shit. Today, anyone making a game on Roblox can implement any form of microtransaction they desire. For every decently crafted platformer or impressive Call of Duty remake, Damn, which that also good. come loaded with their own in-app purchases, Holy. there is a massive ocean of pay-to-win PvP nightmares, pay-to-skip-the-grind MMOs, and dopamine-obliterating <laughs> idle games. Oh my, this is what I saw. I've seen idol games that like, oh dude, I never thought about the fact that a kid playing an idol game. I played Cookie Clicker when I was like 20 years old, I think. I never considered the fact that somebody with an underdeveloped brain could play it. Oh my god, that's fucked up. That's actually poison for your brain, I think, right? Take one of Roblox's current top games, Pet Simulator X. With several hundred thousand daily players and over 7.9 billion total visits. Bro, that's almost like, like, like the population of the goddamn Earth. Yeah. It's gotta be incredible, right? You click on piles of money, your pets deal damage to them, and then you pick up the money. You spend <laughs> the money to open uh -huh. new areas where you can click on more Get more money. money. Yep, the number goes up. roll gotcha eggs for new pets that deal more they, damage they're gonna hit to it the more it's an idle game money. it's an idle game you know what the fucked up thing about this is if a kid is playing this game and he doesn't have any other concept of like video games and this is the first video game he plays he's gonna think this is the best thing games can be if a kid plays some shitty roblox game and like platforming and some, I don't know, some some dumb Roblox stuff, right? And then he plays this. He's going to think this is the best thing he could ever do on Roblox. He's going to be Omega addicted. I love idle games, but I love them because I know they're shitty. And I know it's just, it's, it's brain tickling. But imagine being young and thinking that is the peak of the medium, right? And then you go back later and you play Mario and you're like, man, Mario, I wish he got money though. I get like 10 coins every 10 seconds. If I ever become a parent, I think I gotta like ban the internet. <laughs> oh, dude, if I become a parent, my kid is gonna fucking get so mad. They're not gonna be allowed to play Roblox with all their friends. Dude, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is a real talk I, I've, I've had with myself internally. Like, what am I gonna. Because she's already on a tablet. She's on the tablet sometimes, and like, you don't wanna stop her because she has to understand how digital interfaces work. Kids have to grow up with that in modern technology, but you don't want to be too exposed. It's too late now. Well, that's the thing is it's not like you can't take it from them entirely. She doesn't have to understand that young, right? I mean, kind of. Like, and a lot of the stuff that she plays is educational. It's not just like garbage YouTube, whatever. I mean, even educational shit is not good, right? It's a fucked up situation. So many of the consistently popular games fall under the tycoon and simulator genres, <laughs> and they all play out exactly the same. Even my favorite blue little man isn't safe. There's an official Sonic Speed Simulator, which sounds cool for about five seconds before you realize the platforming worlds are basically empty, save for the endless collectibles you need hundreds of to unlock characters. This can't be legal, right? License? Is this the real one? Oh, it's a real one? Oh, fuck. Oh, oh and that's when weird. I said pay to win earlier, I've never heard boy, of that. did I mean pay 
two wins. Pine and I loaded into a free-for-all PvP game called Combat Warriors. I loaded <laughs> in with a wooden staff. I then died instantly to a dude with a giant anime sword with a Jotaro kill sound. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus Christ. I want to be that guy! Dude, can I be him? I'll pay any amount of money. I'll give you my credit card right now to be that guy. If I was a child and I saw that happen, I would be crying, begging. For my mom's credit card. And then again to a zero to death punch combo. <laughs> and then, I don't know, tell me that if you can not figure cool. out what's happening in this one. <laughs> what is that sound? Guys, I think we need to play Combat Warriors. I really want to play Combat Warriors. Tony, I know someone who competitively plays Combat Warriors, and trust me, all the players in that game are extremely toxic. What do you mean, extremely toxic? And what do you mean competitively plays it. I'm level 180 in Combat Warriors. It's unironically fun, but really toxic. There's that word again. What do we mean by toxic? Like, are the, what is the player base doing to be toxic? Just kill you, or they have hundreds of hours in that game? How do you, and what choices do you make to end up, how do you start grinding Combat Warriors? That's so bizarre. There are so many real games you could be playing instead. I guess you're just on Roblox, and that's the first game you see. There's no way that feels better to you than any other game. Remember how many people he said play Roblox? Uh, yeah, I forgot. 66 million a day or something. You're right. Find a game My that bad. Truly feels yeah. like its own thing and isn't instead a movie right. shooter where you attack <laughs> the PNGs of Breaking Bad characters uh -huh. or a Sonic Forces clone with Despicable Me characters where the music is remixes of Happy by Pharrell Williams and the levels are from Mario Odyssey. Uh, who Me. had this idea? Cody, play that right now. I just don't know who had the idea, like, to put your two favorite things together Together, right you're a huge fan of sonic frontiers and despicable me and two great things that go great together there's got to be better things play that on the roblox stream you got to start making a list at this point that's a 24-hour stream is this like original music <laughs> no this song there's is, Gru. Is, is just happy by pharrell williams oh wait you're right maybe these games constitute some gray area of fair use but i'm almost at a loss as to how developers can make something like anime adventures a tower defense where every unit is just a popular anime character <laughs> and then implement real money gotcha systems and roblox just lets that fly oh I mean, easy to do when it's raking in millions yeah and maybe uh... the copyright lawyers are too afraid to figure out what the hell's going on is there any level of modern Moderation that Roblox has to do to like are these games just like auto approved no porn okay sure I'm just saying is there anybody like checking on these because with 66 million people every day th these games have to be pumped out like crazy I know some copyright lawyers in their 50s and they hate having to learn this shit all they had was a long form test on my little pony last month they had to take a test on my little pony so they understood it Roblox is starting to roll out mature content tags for games. I don't like that. It's a mature 16 plus tag. I mean, I guess it's not as bad. But I mean, like, is that really going to be... That's not going to be enforced, right? It's what happens when you get too big for your britches. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess it's inevitable. Once you reach this amount of size, especially, I would imagine, with the server costs. Like, the cost to run something for 66 million people and with a constant expectation of growth, right? Roblox may seem like it focuses on fun, but the creator dashboard no, tells it a doesn't. slightly different story. It, it, obviously it doesn't. In both analytics and documentation dedicated to tracking engagement and increasing retention and spending. Now, you can and should make leveling up a more difficult and time-consuming experience as the players get further into the game. And then the highest one is five hundred and seventy one dollars for one robux remember before i was saying it's cool that kids like learn how to make a game right they develop the skill sets on how to make this shit and create their own games the joy of creation right is it cool that kids are learning about monetization practices on those same games maybe for like business kids I, is a kid gonna grow up to be a fucking mba I, maybe not this young, probably, but maybe there's a world where there's value in teaching kids, like, the economics of this space. Is it their fault that it's as fucked up as it is? Because, like, it's it's fucked up, but is it is it the kid's fault for learning about it? And I guess it perpetuates a cycle. What's the alternative, right? If my kid is making 2k a month from Roblox, I'm turning a blind eye. That's what I'm saying. What if my kid is a shrewd-ass businessman? He made a shitty Skinner box in Roblox, and he makes 10k a month. 
Good job, son. Way to hustle. He's scamming other Roblox children. Yeah, and that's what's fucked up. I, I guess it comes down to the age thing. He is a kid scamming other kids. If he's an adult scamming other adults, then we just say, well, your brain is fully developed, so fuck it. You fell for it. Yeah, this is more adults targeting kids. Yeah, yeah, I, in my hypothetical, I'm thinking I have a young kid that made a game that hit it big, like a 14-year-old kid that made it big, right? As opposed to, like, a 19-year-old. God, that's... Ah, oh, this is so fucked up. With a system that prioritizes these values, <laughs> that's a lot of colors and numbers. An original work of art when you can draw in more players by rehashing identical game structures and regurgitating fragments of pop culture. It's kind of weird how much culture is folded in on itself. Like to the same way that like VR chat is just easily identified representations of things you already know. What do you mean by that? Just the fact that like the way that you would interface when I was young you could not interface with media characters. When I was young, I always use the example like the red M&M, right? Or like the commercial with the red M&M. I, no I have no way of interacting or interfacing with the red M&M. So he is on my screen and he's an asshole and he's voiced by the guy that does Ren and Stimpy and he just exists. Then computers come out and now we can all control information. And now the red M&M is is a boyfriend's with the yellow M&M and I can create that world and I can create a picture, right? And now that picture exists and for my reality and so anybody else that sees it, they can see a window into a world where this me this is real, right? I can create a reality where this thing can exist and I'm interfacing with a media property that I do not own, but I can change the meaning of. So now we are in the post whatever the fuck you want to call it where that is not the, the the identity of that thing has evolved so far beyond just like individual pictures that you would ironically see it in a Roblox game as a skin that somebody else made and bought without anybody in the Mars candy or whatever having any part of it. The images and the the representations that we have created have become so widespread and so easily accessed that now, like, anybody can be anything. Isn't that just fan art and fanfic? Vaguely, but I think it's a step beyond that. Coney, who framed Roger Rabbit exists? No, 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 I'm not talking about postmodern deconstruction of media symbols. Even when Roger Rabbit comes out and Mickey and Bugs are interacting, there is nobody in the groundlings, right? You and I, normal people who are working with Bugs or Mickey or interfacing with them. Some high executive suit at Disney and some high executive suit at Warner Brothers said, Bugs says this, Mickey says this, and that's it. But now, if I search Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny on Google, I'm gonna find a very different picture. The world's different now. I'm trying to keep up, but I just feel dumb now. I think a lot about this shit, and I, I'm not even like, what I'm saying isn't even smart or good or correct. This is just how I think of things. The fact that we have a say over an IP's cultural significance is pretty cool. I think that's what you're saying. I, I don't know if it's cool. I don't really have like an emotional attachment or like a response like it's cool or bad or anything. I'm just looking at it from like a like a like a distance view. Like now we all have a say over like the green M&M is so hot, right guys? Which is her, what she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be hot and sexual, but now people are like, "Oh, she's a lesbian actually." And it changes her meaning entirely. The internet decides she's a lesbian, and now the candy company has to be like, WAIT! <laughs> WAIT! WHOA! I don't know, this is the kind of shit I think about. My major was in media and communications. I think about media and how it's represented a lot. You lost me, I have no idea what street I'm on. Yeah, yeah, we've been talking for a while, sorry. Let's go back to, uh... <laughs> Let's go back to Roblox, okay? Not to mention it's free. Well, free until they beg their parents <laughs> for Robux, which is being coaxed out of them as shameless as possible by an obscene level of pay to win microtransactions since the whole gambling being illegal for kids thing doesn't apply here I yeah when are we gonna do that didn't hawaii ban loot boxes back when overwatch came out they wanted to they never did hawaii banned luigi no they didn't I don't think parents should outright ban their kids from playing Roblox, as that could mean losing the place where they can connect <laughs> with their friends online. A pizza and that game! That kind of opportunity has been super important to me at every point in my life. 
but at the same time, I feel like things just can't keep going the way they are. As yeah. Roblox continues to expand its reach and implement new forms of ad space and monetization, while major companies like Cartoon Network and Sega continue to create official experiences, the site's legitimacy and guise of child friendliness only grows. It's weird to keep seeing this shit happen and thinking that shouldn't happen, right? There's no way that can happen or should be happening. And the answer is always no, and the answer is always, but it does, and it won't stop. And it only gets worse and faster. But is that just the march of progress in general? Is that the reaction that we've always had? It feels more sincere and guttural now than it used to. Maybe I'd have more positive things to say about the in-depth character customization and That's fashion system up. if said system didn't heavily revolve around a digital stock market, where kids can use premium currency to buy and sell cosmetics, some of which are limited with serial numbers, leading to the creation of serial numerous numbers? black market sites and Discord servers to sell items for real money, and oh my god, I was buying NFTs when I was 10. Okay, this is objectively fucked up, but does this teach kids skills? They're learning something, right? I don't mean this in a way to defend it. This is clearly fucked up and predatory. I'm not trying to defend it. But they're learning things, but they're probably learning the wrong things, right? They're probably learning how to do these things incorrectly on a, on a hyper-specialized platform that will not be applicable to outside platforms, correct? I'm just thinking this through. Maybe they'll learn to be very skeptical and cynical because they're going to get fucking scammed. They're learning the worst part of the system, maybe. But I did get a comment from someone telling me to play a game called Marvelous Playground <laughs> because it feels a lot like Rumbleverse. Wait, really? So surely that must mean something. Wait, is that it? <laughs> I can be Movie Sonic. I can be... Pibby? Is that Steve from Stranger Things? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm Claptrap. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Patrick it's literally me! I want to play this game, too. I want to play this Rumbleverse, too. What the fuck? <laughs> that is not Rumbleverse. Oh, Walter White gets a gun. Well, that's pretty... I'm ulting. Who brought a car? I kind of want to play Marvelous Playground. Good movie. I like that movie. We spent like an hour on it. Big ups to that. Check out Yakko CMN, bro. I think I watched one of his other videos. Oh, yeah, it was the Rumbleverse video. I watched that whole thing. I'm sad about Rumbleverse, man.